I would like to start as well by taking a minute just to thank Mr. and Mrs. Garvin and Mr. and Mrs. Harrington for making this incredible wedding weekend possible. When it came time to wedding planning, I had no doubt that Emily and Denise were going to completely knock it out of the park. And as I look around tonight, there's no details that have been spared. It's truly gorgeous. Em, you're a stunning bride. Meghan Markle next weekend has absolutely nothing on you. Yeah. And if we could all just take a minute, this is probably the closest to a royal wedding that we're all going to get. So just take it all in. Steven is an amazing guy. You know, you can't walk around the block without him running into people. I don't care whether we're here at Aronomy. I think he knows more people than I do. And I've been here 27 years. We're proud to welcome you into our family. I want you to know that, Steve. It was clear to me and everyone, I think, early on how perfect these two were for each other. The third or fourth time I hung out with Steve, our friend was having people over for dinner. Steve had been up early that day and ended up dozing off on the couch after dinner. You see, our friends always make fun of Emily for being able to fall asleep anywhere, including once inside the Penn State football stadium during a loud and crowded game. So it's... But all kidding aside, they are truly a great match. They both value their friends, family, and spending time together. They respect each other, are there for each other, and make each other laugh. I remember three years ago getting a very special phone call from Emily. She had met a guy on something called Hinge, which was a dating website. <laughs> I was obviously a little bit skeptical at first, uh, but she sounded very happy, and so I had to see what this guy was about. Steve, I could tell right away that you adored her, and in our many, many visits that we've had together since then, I've seen Emily smile bigger and laugh harder whenever you're around. We are so proud of you, and I think that, as Billy said it, the measure of a man is, is certainly the woman by his side, and I think you should be really proud of the person that you've become, given the fact that you're now, um, you've got your arm around just such a lovely woman. Um, your only flaw is your intense loyalty to people, uh, which I think everybody here has probably experienced at one point in time, and I have no doubt will be the bedrock and the foundation of just a lovely marriage. Uh, to everybody on the Garvin side, thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Garvin, Garvin friends and family, just thank you for raising such a lovely woman. Emily, welcome to our family. And if everybody would join me, to a life of happiness. To Stephen and Emily, here, here. Thank you, all of you, for being here tonight. A very dear friend of mine once said to me um, when he was speaking of his son, I worry about him. I worry about him all the time. And that's what we do as parents is part of our job, that we worry. And then hopefully they meet someone to share their life with. And the first thought in your mind is, great. She can worry about him now. <clears throat> so the term daughter-in-law is defined as a person legally related to you by marriage. Uh, but Alice and I are not legal scholars. We think of Emily as a daughter. So now we have someone else to worry about. <laughs> I feel like I've known Denise my entire life. And I feel like I've known the Garvins my entire life. They mean everything to us, you know. I, we, we do have a large family, We're Irish and Italian, tons of family, but 
If I had to pick family, I would pick the Garvins. There's no question about it. And Emily's like my blonde daughter, and I love her dearly. And I think Stephen is very lucky to have her. And I know that she's lucky to have Stephen too. And he's a good man, and that's important. I'm, I'm very happy for them. Stinky, let's do this. I can't believe today is here. See, I'm already. <laughs> In my wildest dreams, I couldn't picture love and perfection to the highest degree. And then you walked into the Continental that night. When Frank asked me why we moved in together, I joked and said, because I'm tired of paying to go to Uber to see her. The truth is, I don't truly come home until I hold you in my arms. There's no greater feeling than when I hold you, look in your eyes and smile and kiss you. I can't wait to do all the days of my life. Just a heads up, at some point today, some sort of shit will hit the fan. Water off a, off a duck's ass. <laughs> he always says that. I can't wait for tomorrow and every tomorrow after to come. I love you so much, Steve. That's cute. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> He's just such a good companion to her. They get along so well. They have fun together. There's no shortage of laughter and having a good time, which I think is awesome. Steven, I've been dreaming of this day since I was a little girl. I have found my best friend, forever partner in life, and the man of my dreams. You not only make me a better person, but you make me whole. From the day I met you, I knew you were the one. It was always you. I can't wait to marry you, Stinky. It's you and me. Remember that, always. Love you, M. Thank you all for being here for me. And not just today. He's the man he is because he has all of you guys in his life. And you've helped him through these days and you'll help him forward. With him and him. Alice and I couldn't be prouder of the nicest group of guys that he could have as his groups in the Nushers. Thank you. To Stephen and Emily. Stephen and Emily. Emily. Cheers. 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 Steven's great. He is boisterous. He's funny. He is incredibly sincere and genuine and has a huge heart. And I know he cares about the people he cares about a ton. She's actually told me once that it was one of the sweetest things I've actually ever heard anybody say about anybody. We were on her bachelorette party. She said, I love the way that Steven loves people. I've never seen somebody that loves and cares about people the way that he does, as deeply as he does. You really can't ask for a better little sister. And it's been a real treat watching her grow up, uh, both on a personal and professional level. And seeing her have so much success at work, it makes uh, my parents, Liz and I, you know, so excited to see my sister, so happy and in love, and ready to spend the, the rest of their lives to with each other. Gorgeous. I think that he sees that she's super sophisticated and classy and caring and she brings the best out of him. And I think that she makes him laugh a lot. I don't know, I just see a better side of Steven since Emily's been around. We are so pleased at the ceremony tomorrow and the celebration that Denise and Dick are planning for us. We are so happy that all of you have made them the people that they are, that they now have met together and will continue their relationship through both of our families. So, please raise your glass. 
to Emily and Stephen. Emily and Stephen, we pause at the threshold to your new life to give honor, to pay attention, to give homage to the most powerful and mysterious force in the whole universe. A force so powerful they can create out of nothing in a big bang. A force so powerful that it can take away our sins and break the hold of death on our lives forever. And yet a force so mysterious that we don't always feel it or know that it's working in our lives. And two people can have a casual greeting, meet one another, spend time together, and within six months realize that they can't see their life going forward except hand in hand with the other one. And so in the midst of this powerful, mysterious creator and redeemer, we make promises. You all have promised to be husband and wife, to put your love first in your life, to honor one another, to be faithful to one another, and to hold up this new creation that this mysterious force has drawn together. We all have made a promise that we'll do all we can to support you in your marriage, as the church, as your family and friends, to be there when you call upon us, to stay away, when we haven't been invited, but to do all we can to support you in this new life in which you're entering. And then of course there's a third promise being made today. The promise of this most incredible and mysterious power who created and redeemed all that is and brought the two of you out of seven billion people in the world together to share a new life. For this God who created you is also the God who has drawn your hearts together and will continue to walk with you all the days of your life. And so we encourage you as you walk over the threshold to keep your promises. We'll keep ours as best we can. And we trust and believe that God will keep his. Amen. I was looking forward to seeing Stephen cry because I knew he would. <laughs> but he teared up a little bit. I think he teared up a little bit when she was walking down the aisle. When I looked at Stephen today, looking at Emily, there was so much love in his eyes, it, it took my breath away. It was just beautiful. In the name of God. I, Stephen, take you, Emily. I, Stephen, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish until we are parted by death until we are parted by death this is my solemn vow this is my solemn vow in the name of god in the name of god i emily take you stephen i emily take you stephen to be my husband to be my husband to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Just for my hand. The church is beautiful. The ceremony was great. I think Em was a little nervous going into it that she was gonna, you know, tear up or whatever but she held it together and it was beautiful and they just both looked so happy and I had the great view of seeing Steve who looked so happy which was amazing it was awesome I was really touched. I was very happy that Frank Allen, who is the minister, knows, especially Emily, because it seemed very personal and he spoke directly to them. I feel like the two of them have what it takes. They're good, solid kids and they know themselves. So therefore, knowing themselves will make them, I think, a good couple. You know, Emily was an absolute delight to raise from birth 
where she couldn't wait to come out. That's another story, but uh, uh, come out into this world to becoming a beautiful, thoughtful, caring adult. Denise and I couldn't be more proud of Emily, her accomplishments, and her choice of a life partner. That's you, Steve. You know, when we when we measure a man, it, it's it's not the, the size of a man. It's it's not the, the height of his intellect or the, the weight of his accomplishments. It's it's the distance that he's willing to go for the people he cares about and, and those that need it. And I've never seen or met anyone that's willing to go further than you. Now, now it's easy, I'm, I'm, I'm his brother, but I've, I've heard this from other people too. Emily and Steve, I love you guys and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Our friends like to describe a fun weekend or a great party as one for the books. And I know that your wedding and your marriage is gonna truly be one for the books. Emily and I met 11 years ago, freshman year of college at Miami University. We joined the same sorority. She became the sister that I never had and truly my best friend. Steve, not a whole lot has changed for Emily since college. She's gotten a lot of practice taking care of all of us, and I know that you'll be well taken care of by her too. And by now I'm sure you know what you need to do to take care of her, whether it's a flat Coke or a quarter pounder, or just remembering to bring her inhaler. Just be sure that you always have her back as well. I stand in awe of who you are, who you've been, and who you've become. And it, Emily, it, who I see in front of me today is a happy, content man who's willing to take on the world the, the same way he always has, just full guns blazing. I, I think you guys are just perfect matches and compliments for one another. Couldn't, couldn't think of a more perfect person to welcome into our family. I know that she's in the best hands forever with you, and as her friend, that means everything to me. More importantly to me, you don't steal the show. You let Emily shine. You encourage her to be the dork that she is, <laughs> the dork that we all know and love. And you manage to keep her grounded when she's completely losing it. You balance each other out perfectly. You really do bring out the best in one another. You love her hard and you love her for who she is, and I love you for that. So let's all raise our glasses. We wish you a lifetime of love, laughs, lots of patience, and we hope that you never stop having fun together. Cheers. We love you. Emily, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stephen, I give you this ring. Stephen, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss one another as husband and wife. I think they're best friends, which I think is great. They just love each other so much and it's so apparent when you're around them and they both see like a dependable, loyal, fun partner in each other. I wish them all the best in the world and I will be watching them. Denise wants them to buy the house next door to me. So I'm all about that. That's totally fine with me. They could live right next door. <laughs> You know, it's obvious that I see children because I think they both want it. 
I see their parents, both of their parents spending a lot of time together. I think their parents have become really good friends, which I think they both love. And uh, babies, yeah, I see a lot of babies. And you know what, it's not easy dating anyone or someone in our family, you know? It's really not. And I was thinking about it the other day that, you know, this is really the last time we'll be calling him Steve Harrington. You know, because Steve Garvin does have a pretty <laughs> good ring to it. Great choice, Lee. Can you just tell us if we're not completely, like, covered? <laughs> <laughs> When should he tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Before the porn? Ten, <laughs> Ten minutes later, they're still fidgeting. I wonder where he got this card from. His mom's store. Yes, 100%. <laughs> what is the friend of the looking at? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me get back here. You see? What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. <laughs> Steven is like an animal, like he was like a caged animal before he met Emily, but now he's just an animal, you know, which is great because you don't want that to go away, but you don't want him to be like, he was crazy, but he's, uh, yeah, he's just an animal still, which we love, but she's got him under control. She's got a leash on him and that's good. Marriage is also about finding your, your right match, just like Billy said. And Emily, I look at you, you are beautiful, you are elegant, you are patient, you have such a high degree of self-control. Um, you are, you are, uh, you're humble. Um, you know how to talk to people in a normal tone. Um, without feeling like they're being screamed at. And so as uh, as uh, Father said today, seven billion people in the world, you thought to yourself, my match is Steve Harrington. Yeah.